quite tired boy. There you do. Alright, so I want to talk about the mental fragility of an Anthony Joshua, where people are somehow psychologists. Anthony Joshua seems gun shy, Anthony Joshua seems apprehensive, Anthony Joshua he's not quite meant to be there and whatever else, okay? I don't really talk about it about anybody else, but Anthony Joshua, okay, so let's talk about that one. And again, see, this is not just coming from people in the comment section here and across social media, but people in boxing as well. You know, Anthony Joshua seems gun shy, he doesn't really seem like he's going for it and whatever else. And again, this is coming from people like a Barry Jones, for example, a Barry Jones who had one knockout in his entire career. One. Coming from Spencer Oliver, who only had nine. So what exactly are we talking about? A little two-faced, maybe. Now, what something that people are not talking about is the mental well-being of John Tay Wilder. People are not talking about that though, are they? They're not. Which is weird, isn't it? Because obviously people will point out the fact that Anthony Joshua Okay, he had like, like a little bit of a hissy fit when he lost to Usyk in the rematch. He threw the belts out. But again, you know, they forgot that Anthony Joshua did say before the fight, when I win the belts back, I'm going to dash him in the bin. Not my opinion he said that. He said that, okay? So maybe he was just fulfilling a promise, if you like. Granted, there weren't his belts to do that with, for sure. Now, he had like a little bit of a tear on in the press conference afterwards. Yeah, because he just lost. But people don't mention the fact that Jonte Wilder also had a full a full tear on after he beat Robert Hellenius. Didn't he? So how's his mental fragility? What's his mental state like? By the way, it's a bit of a fake cry, I feel. But still. And of course, he came out with 101 excuses as to why he lost to Tyson Fury in the rematch. Even now, he's still calling him a cheat and everything. But of course, when he's seen Tyson Fury in the flesh, he gave him a cuddle, then ran all the way back to Alabama, started chastising him again, calling him a cheat and whatever else. But he's meant to be strong, right? Now, okay, so Anthony Joshua at times, don't look great, okay? He, he don't look like the old AJ, but the old AJ was always getting criticized. All he is, is a big powerhouse who comes forward, knocks people out. That's, that's what people were saying about him. At some point, he's going to have to box. Because if he don't, he's going to get exposed. People are saying that, right? But yeah, at times when he doesn't really look like he's really going for it, he's taking the safe route of boxing and winning the rounds and all that kind of thing. I mean, again, I think people forget that it's called boxing. Okay, but, but, of course, I do get your point. And it, listen, everybody has, has their own opinions on things. But at least... Joshua goes in there and actually wins rounds. At least he goes in there walking forward at times. Do you see that from Wilder? Do you? Wilder is a guy who loses practically every round that he's in. Swampy round here, man. Yesterday was torrential rain. Today is quite nice, but it's still swampy and my shoes are getting covered. Um, anyway, so yeah, Wilder, he loses every single round. He's always backing away, forever backing away. Is this a guy who is not necessarily gun shy himself? This is a guy who waits around in the hope that he can land the right hand. That's what he does. But Joshua, the way that he fought Robert Hellenius, gets criticized. But John Say Wilder gets all the praise because he knocked out Robert Hellenius in one round. Okay, well, that was a Robert Hellenius who actually came forward on John Say Wilder, left his chin up in the air, and got caught. Why? Because Jonte Wilder went on the back foot, as he always does, running away and caught him coming in. The rookie mistake is what um, Hellenius made there. Very rookie mistake. But at the same time, I understood it was a gamble, okay? Wilder, not the greatest around the whiskers. Again, you see, people talk about how Jonte Wilder, he catches Anthony Joshua and he put him out cold. Okay, okay. If Anthony Joshua catches Wilder, there's more chance of Wilder going to sleep. Has Wilder ever knocked out anybody who's elite? Has he? No, he ain't. If you look at Deontay Wilder's record, his resume, of who it is that he fought, when he got to like, was it, was it 40 and 0 or something? Well, if Derek Chisora had fought the same people, Derek Chisora would have probably gone to 40 and 0 as well, wouldn't he? Let's be real about it. Now, I'm not saying that Wilder can't beat Joshua. Of course he can. Can Joshua be caught? Yeah. 
Of course he can. But you see, the caliber of opponents that Joshua has been fighting is far better than the caliber of opponents of a Jonte Wilder that he's been fighting. Far better. Joshua has had to watch the left hand, the right hand, the setups and all that kind of stuff. With Wilder, he's only got to worry about, about the right hand. That's all he's got to worry about. But back to Moonwalk. Hee <laughs> hee. Now, I don't see what it is that people are talking about, the psychology of Anthony Joshua, the mental state of Anthony Joshua. Okay, what about Tyson Fury? Wasn't he the one who allegedly was driving a Ferrari and was going to drive it off, off of a bridge or something? That's mental fragility, right? A Tyson Fury who, after he defeated John McDermott in the rematch, had a right old sob on at ringside. He was bobbing like a baby. But people don't talk about his mental fragility, okay? Now, personally, I think, think a lot of it with uh, Tyson is not quite genuine. I wouldn't know that for a fact. In fact, I know people who know him personally who say he is genuine, so it's, I don't know. But the point is, you talk about psychology, that Anthony Joshua ain't ready for this, Anthony Joshua ain't ready for that. What are you talking about? Maybe Wilder isn't ready for Anthony Joshua. Maybe, right? Because John T. Wilder has only had one round, not even a round really, against Robert Hellenius since last year. But Wilder's this big killer, right? Wilder's this guy who will smoke everybody. Yeah, Wilder's this guy who's doing his best to avoid Anthony Joshua. He's been doing it for years. This is a guy who's currently avoiding Andy Reese Jr. But there's nothing wrong with John Taylor Wilder's, Wilder's psychology. I said before, 101 excuses as to why he lost to Tyson Fury. But he's mentally strong. Anthony Joshua is not. Okay. Anthony Joshua, who lost two times to Alexander Usyk. Yeah, the guy that Tyson Fury is avoiding, who's ducking him, instead wants to go fight an MMA guy who's basically he's doing the equivalent of what Jake Paul's doing. And people criticize Jake Paul for fighting MMA guys. Well, Jake Paul's background is YouTubing, right? What's Tyson Fury's background? Boxing. So who's actually taking more risk? Fury or Jake Paul? Jake Paul is the answer, right? But hey, what can you do? Some people have their narratives, okay? They do. I'm not saying that Anthony Joshua isn't apprehensive at times. Of course he's apprehensive. Of course he is. And he has every right to be, and he should be as well. Hey, wait, division, one punch can, does change everything. So he has every right to be concerned about what's coming back. That's why Wilder does as well. Why do you think Wilder doesn't win rounds? Why do you think Wilder can't box? He waits for a one hand in the hope that he doesn't get clipped himself. That's what he does. But Anthony Joshua's not ready for Wilder. I said, I'm not saying that Wilder won't be Joshua. Maybe he will. Maybe he will. I said, that one punch. But I'm telling you, Anthony Joshua, he connects that right hand on Wilder. Wilder will go down. I'm telling you, he will not get back up again. He won't. Wilder has never been good about, um, around the whiskers. Wilder, who quit in the second Fury fight, Wilder, who got knocked out cold by Tyson Fury in the third fight. On the floor, face down, ass up. Anthony Joshua's never been out cold before. He finished on his feet against Ruiz when the referee stopped it. The referee was right to stop it, okay? But he went face down, ass up, asleep on the canvas, was he? Did he get knocked out by Usyk? No. Did he nearly get knocked out by Usyk? Yeah. Has John Wilder nearly been knocked out by quite a few people? Yeah. John Wilder got battered from pit of the post by Arthur Spilker. Battered by him. Battered both times by Luis Ortiz. Destroyed by Johan Duapa. So don't be telling me that Wilder is this killer. Wilder is this mentally strong guy. Wilder is this guy who's gonna just beast mode out for you, Joshua. Wilder is a guy who goes on the back foot the entire time and waits for an opportunity and throws it with his eyes closed in the hope it's gonna land. But, I said, you never know what's gonna happen in boxing. The mental fragility of Anthony Joshua. Everyone's a damn psychologist nowadays. Isn't that weird? Please somebody, show me your certificate. If you can't, shut the fuck up. I'm out, catch you next video and subscribe.